social distancing. I didn't want any visitors. And you've got dirt on your nose. Just there, and there, and there. Oh! I just left Hogwarts in time to film this week's family matinee recommendation, and look at me, I'm a mess. I cannot film it like this. What's the film this week? I was gonna tell everyone how much I love the Wizarding World and how they should check out the Fantastic Beasts films if they haven't watched them already. And I was even gonna tell them all about the Fantastic Beasts that I really love, but I can't because look at me, I'm a hot mess. I cannot tell them looking like this. Haven't you talked about that before when you had friends over talking about Fantastic Beasts? Oh, you're right. I'll just go grab my time turner, I'll go back to the past, and I'll film that Angie talking about how much she loves the Wizarding World and Fantastic Beasts. So, where's my time turner, do you know? It's probably next to your cell phone you're always losing. I'm warning you, Azkaban. Just kidding. It's probably up in the air. Seriously, I can't operate in my own house now? Social distancing. I don't want any of your southern friends coming in and out anytime they want. Fix it right now or I'm going to send you back to Azkaban. Fine, I'll lift the charm. Thank you. Whew. Okay, um, I think six turns should do it. Yes, I'll go back and I'll set up cameras before anyone sees me. And that Angie, ooh, she'll definitely have a better haircut than me and definitely not this mess on her face. Oh, and she definitely hasn't been eating chocolate frogs for two months while in quarantine, so she'll look better than me too. Okay, yes, so I'm gonna go back and set up cameras. All right, here we go. I love Harry Potter. I fell in love with the books and then I fell in love with the movies and for years I have been collecting Harry Potter memorabilia. We love sharing our love of Harry Potter with our friends and our family. We like to throw epic Harry Potter parties. And if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, you should check out J.K. Rowling's Fantastic Beast and its sequel, The Crimes of Grindelwald. These prequels to the events in Harry Potter are an excellent addition to the Wizarding World and they're full of Fantastic Beasts, which of course I love. Thank you, Pygmy Puff. Oh, Pygmy Puff, you are just the cutest thing ever. Akio, house elf. Oh, hi, Tommy. How are you? Man, I have missed you. Look, I got you a little present. Akio Niffler. Niffler? Niffler, are those my galleons? What did I tell you about taking my galleons, Niffler? Oh my goodness. Uh, this will never do. Come on, let go. Accio Cornish Pixies. Accio Cat. I even have my own Mrs. Norris. Accio Bow Truckle. Oh, sweet little Bow Truckle, I have missed you. Where have you been? What? What? The cat bit you? What's your favorite beast from the first day? Mine's Fluffy, the three headed dog. For this week's activity, we're going to make one of my favorite Fantastic Beasts, a bow truckle like Picket in Fantastic Beasts. This bow truckle was part of Fantastic Beasts merchandise, but we're going to make something similar using garden wire, floral tape, and some fake leaves. You'll need scissors to cut your floral tape, some markers if you want to draw eyes on your bow truckle, the instructions on this are very simple and there's no wrong way to do it. Bow truckles kind of look like twigs with little arms and legs and so you're just going to shape your wire in any kind of pattern you prefer. You just want to make sure it has arms and legs. I'm going to put three legs on mine because it'll make it stand better. And then you'll want to have two little antennas to use for your leaves. My floral garden wire has its own clippers built in but if you don't have any you'll need wire cutters. Make sure your parents help because wire can have pointy edges. If you have pipe cleaners at home, you can create the same effect using those. For my bow truckle, I started with a basic shape and then I continued to add wire to make him thicker and a little bit sturdier. Again, you can do this with pipe cleaners. Shaping the wire is time consuming, but again, it is super simple because there's no wrong way to make a bow truckle. You can make it in any shape you want, any thickness you want, just keep shaping until you've reached your desired look.
once you have your shape completed, it's a good idea to take a minute to make sure that you can make your bow truckle stand. Try posing its legs, making sure that it's sturdy, and if you need to, add more wire. Once you know it's sturdy, now we're ready for the next step. We're gonna start adding the floral tape. The floral tape I have is self-adhesive, so you just wrap it around the bow truckle and you kind of pinch and squeeze it together to make it stick together. You want to make sure that you cover it completely so that no wires are exposed. When you get to the top of the bow truckle where his antennas and leaves are, all you'll do is insert your fake leaves around the wire. You can kind of wrap them together or you can just hold it against the wire and then wrap the floral tape around them. Once your wire is completely wrapped in floral tape, go over it one more time. Just kind of give it a good pinch all over to make sure your tape is secure. Now we're going to add facial features to the bow truckle. You can use a sharpie to give him eyes and a mouth. Or you can use seed beads if you want to glue eyes on him. 